Ears have the lovers and the knight of swords, right? So a lot of you Aries are, are watching out, watching for watching your own backs, looking out for yourselves, taking care of yourselves. And the knight of swords represents somebody trying to get in that. So you have people that want your attention, but a lot of you Aries are like, no, no, thank you. Now, because you see that they're not necessarily the, 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 the people that you may want around. Um, and even if they are, you're still being fair with them because you have the Six of Wands and the Five of Cups. You're giving yourself time to, to still have the time to deal with whatever it is that you've got going on emotionally because of the baggage that you felt or you had. So you're still giving yourself time to actually heal from that type of stuff. So what happens is the three of pentacles, right? And the three of pentacles is, is that, you know, maybe some of your areas may need some friends around you, but also um, to be by yourselves. Because what it is that I'm seeing here is I'm seeing that a lot of you Aries are very much so not really wanting to be in a relationship per se. I'm seeing that you want to be single at this time, right? Because a lot of you Aries just may see that people are not necessarily trustworthy. So a lot of you Aries are looking at it from a perspective of you should, in essence, um, do what it is that you need to do for yourself. And if people don't really respect that or they come off a little bit too pushy, right? Then obviously the answer is no, right? You don't wanna hang out with them again because to you, a lot of your areas are like, you know, they don't even respect the fact that you're telling them no, no, thank you. So the Four of Cups now, yeah. The Four of Cups now is about, because some of you areas are ruminating about how you give so much but yet at the same time, you know, you, you, you have to put up with, with self-doubting, self-loathing people that are really sabotaging their own selves. And the high priestess and the, the nine of swords, <laughs> the high priestess and the nine of swords is you're taking this, you Aries are taking this time to do some self-study. You really don't want them. You really don't want this person or these people to really ever come back. But also you're thinking about the things that you did right, what you could have did better, what you did wrong, um, and how it is that you don't want to have to go through this again. How it is that, you know, you don't want to have to keep making the, <laughs> you don't want to have to keep making the same mistakes. So the thing about it is that the, the fool is now about how since that's the case, the fool is about, so uh, at the end of this, you know that you're gonna move forward, right? Responsibly, of course. You're gonna move forward knowing well that this scenario is behind you. It just takes time, really, right? What I mean when I say the scenario, the scenario of something that just happened to you, Aries, where you were potentially getting to know somebody and they told you all the good stuff that you wanted to hear, but then you didn't necessarily see them actually do anything with all that talk that they talk because they have the gift of God. And vocally, they convinced you, right? Because they had the, the gift, of, uh, gift of God that they were actually serious about you and that they were gonna do something, right? Serious with you. They were gonna you know, be, with, be with you and marry you and all of that, but it turned out not to be for that. But a lot of you Aries was seeing that they was coming on a little bit strong anyway. So a lot of you Aries was thinking to yourselves, why exactly are these people so caught up with that in the first place? So now you have the Queen of Wands here, right? The Queen of Wands is about, so since that's the case, a lot of you also, a lot of you also need to understand that, um, you know, you so so now this is about getting in touch more, like I said, getting in touch more with you. So a lot of you 
Aries are like, okay, well, you're asking yourselves like, okay, who are you and what it is that you want to do? And we need to clarify some of this. Let's clarify the uh, Queen of Wands. You have the Four of Pentacles, Temperance, Tower, and then you have the Four of Wands. So, the Four of Pentacles and the Temperance, to clarify the Queen of Wands, this is about how um, this is a situation for you where you, uh, that's my dog down there, but you Aries, um, you understand ultimately that all of this stuff has purpose and that it took this for you to become even more in touch with who you are so that you can start making better decisions and not fall into the trap of when someone tells you that they care about you or whatnot. If it's coming on a little bit too soon, it's like, why in the world is it that these people are coming on so heavy so soon? And the tower and the four, tower and the four of wands is about because you know that ultimately more than likely, I'm not saying 100%, but more than likely there's disaster coming behind that when someone tells you, that they want to marry you and hang out with you and be there for you. So a lot of you Aries already know the deal. You already know what, what, what would happen. You already know that when someone is coming on like this, nine chances out of 10, they don't really, they're not really serious long-term. Let's clarify the high priest. Let's clarify the high priestess. Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, and then you have the Sun. So, mm, the way that this person was thinking about it though, and the way that they had you thinking that, for some of you, you they had you thinking that this could actually work out. And like it is, and I said before, these people have the, the gift of gab. They they got you to think that this could really end up working out. So the Knight of Swords now and the Seven of Swords is all about until you realized just how how uh, dysfunctional they were. So now you're in a situation where um, so now you're in a situation where uh, you don't want them around. Like you you know you. <laughs> You're, you're looking at them trying to see if they're going to say what it uh, do what it is that they say because they had to give the gap. And then now it's like they're they're upset with you. Right. They're angry. And they're they're unwilling to actually fulfill the things that they said. They may even have made they may even had promised you from the very beginning. And then now you have the sun card, which is about how, you know, and and, and here they are acting like they're reveling in it or like they're having fun or, you know, now all of a sudden for some odd reason, their whole story changed. So now the high priestess is about, you're trying to figure out well, what exactly is it about that, that you liked. And the truth is part of what it is that you liked about it is you Aries are hopeless romantics. That's how a lot of you Aries are. You Aries are essentially hopeless romantics. Y'all are hopeless romantics. So what happens is that a lot of people will get themselves caught up. You will get yourselves caught up because you, you don't look at romanticism sometimes the correct way. So a lot of you Aries have to learn to do that. Let's clarify the fool. You think romanticism has to deal with somebody sweeping you off your feet all the time. And that's not necessarily how it works. Four of Swords, the Six of Cups, yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Star card, right. Sometimes it takes you walking away for this person to actually come back. Six of Cups, here they are, Four of Swords, you know, wanting to make amends and apologize and all of this. But the Queen of Queen of Pentacles and a star card. It's like, you can have them back if you want, but right, 
and these people will try to come back but the question is maybe let's just say okay they didn't necessarily tell you all these things but the way that they was moving you thought that these people could have really been something serious and then now all of a sudden they switch up on you so now your Aries are sitting there like well what happened even if they didn't say anything to you but you're still confused as to what's happened you're still a little bit lost as to what happened but now they're coming back to you, you again you're getting the the, the 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 gratification you're getting the ego gratification from you leaving them alone but the question is do you Aries really want them back are you willing to take that chance again with somebody who acts like this you know who who says that you know they may say it or maybe even if maybe they don't say it but they move in a in a way where their their words and their actions they may not even talk a lot some of them but they move where you, you think it's going to be one way and then they end up going in another direction. Do you want to be with somebody like that? It's up to you. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video.